video is brought to you by Moose and Finn, the cutest fucking kittens ever. Look at them. Say hi, Moose and Finn. Hello, humans. <laughs> What's up humans and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new grab a snack hit subscribe because we hang out every Monday and Friday So for today's video, I'm sure you can tell by the title. It's gonna be about periods <laughs> Guys you can click out now if that freaks you out. I, I promise it's really it's really not that bad more specifically my first period Moose is gonna join us for this one. So I had my first period when I was 12 years old. I was in grade 6 <laughs> I don't know if that's like early or like the regular time when girls have their period But none of my friends had them so it was definitely the first out of like my friend group to have it Now back when I was 12 years old. This was actually in the summer between grade 6 and grade 7 My mom actually had me in a daycare for the entire summer because she worked and she didn't trust me to be home alone when I was 12 years old. I don't blame her, I couldn't do dick for myself, so. Now, I really didn't like that daycare. I was in it since I was like six years old. It's not that I didn't like the supervisors. I didn't like spending my entire summer there in like one room. I wanted to stay home like all my other friends stayed home, hang out with my friends and do stuff, but no, I, I was stuck at daycare. Like I said, it was the beginning of summer. I was 12 years old. I got my period right as I got out of the shower or that's when I noticed that I had it and I was kind of freaking out because I don't know if they just didn't teach us it back in like grade five and six I know we had sex ed back then I don't think that I was paying a lot of attention to it though I was freaking out and my mom was like so excited my mom <laughs> when I got my period was so fucking excited she like we went for dinner that night that's how excited she was I not so much so when I found out that I had my period she took me to the drug store we got some pads because I was 12 and I'm not fucking wearing a tampon and then I went to daycare she like showed me how to put it on and all that stuff and then I went to my daycare now I can't stress this enough I didn't want anyone to know that I had my period none of my friends had it I was the first one I thought it was like really really weird it mortified me that I had it it was my secret no one was gonna know and so it went about my day my daycare day and then I went to the washroom the daycare was in the basement of a church and like there was no bathroom in the actual room so you had to like leave the room and go down the hall to use it and so because of that we had to go with a buddy and so I went with one of my friends from my daycare the thing about this bathroom is that there was two doors my wheelchair fit through the first door but my wheelchair didn't fit through the second door and so I always had to park it out like in between the two doors and like get up and like scale along the stalls to like actually get to it so I went into the stall and I like did my business but then I looked down and I saw that there was a little bit of blood on my panties I was so fucking scared I was mortified I saw that and I was like holy shit like this is it like everyone's gonna know that I have my period it's gonna fucking bleed through everyone's gonna know they're all gonna make fun of me my secret will be fucking told and so I had no idea what the fuck to do like thinking back on it I guess I could have just fucking used toilet paper but my 12 year old mind didn't think about that at the time I was panicking I left the stall and it took me some time to like actually tell my friend and so eventually I told her I like turned around and I was like is it like bleeding through like can you see it and she's like no like it's fine in my mind Mind, I'm thinking a period is like gushing blood all the time realistically It's like a couple drops every now and then but like in my mind I'm thinking I'm actually gonna bleed all over my wheelchair all over the floor all over everywhere I fucking go so I devised this plan where I was going to tell the daycare teachers that I puked and that I'm not feeling well and that they need to call my mom to come pick me up and so <laughs> I put on my best friend fucking acting skills and I went into that room and I like moped around for a little bit just just to build up the uh, illusion a little bit and then I go to the teacher and I say oh I'm not feeling well uh can I call my mom and they're like no you can't call your mom like it's fine you'll be fine and back then 12 year olds didn't fucking have cell phones okay so I didn't have a cell phone I could just like quickly text my mom like I had to use their phone that was attached to the wall and back then I was also really stubborn like I'm still pretty fucking stubborn but like I was really really stubborn and hard-headed back then so like I wasn't taking no for an answer once they said no I was like no no no. <laughs> I don't think you get it I'm sick I need to talk to my mom she needs to come and pick me up they took my temperature and my temperature was fine and they're like no no, no. like you'll be fine just wait it out in my mind I'm thinking holy fuck like the longer I wait the more I'm gonna bleed everywhere so like an hour passes 
because I spend that entire hour fucking working on my acting skills, moping around, making it look like I was like about to die. So I go back to them and I say, I'm really feeling sick, like I really need to go. I need to call my mom, like can I just please talk to my mom? Honestly, I don't know why they didn't let me talk to my mom, like I don't know <laughs> if they saw through my bullshit, but I thought I was doing a pretty fucking good job at acting. You wanna go see mama? Okay. There you go. So I kept on asking them over and over and over again. I need to call my mom. I don't think you get it. I'm really, really sick. And like I said before, I'm thinking I'm like, I'm already like bleeding onto my wheelchair at this point. That's what I'm thinking. Like, holy fuck, what am I gonna do? Like, this is actually gonna be the end of the world for me. Like, this is it. This is how I die. I'm gonna die of embarrassment. Instead of going back to the bathroom to check to see like how things are, I put on this like fucking protest. I get so mad. I start yelling at them. I was clearly having this emotional roller coaster due to being on my period. I didn't really know that at the time. Everything was like heightened. Like my, I was super sensitive. Like at this point, everyone in the daycare is like kind of looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> Why is she so fucking crazy? And so after a couple hours of me arguing with them, literally like I would follow them everywhere they went, just asking them over and over again. And so it came to the point where I like completely fucking lost my mind and I bolted out of the room and I like went around a couple corners and I hid like in this doorway area where like they couldn't see me. And while I'm sitting there, I'm using that time to like calm down a little bit. I hear them, like two of the teachers like come out and they're like talking to each other and they're like, I don't know if they're on their phones or not, but they're fucking searching this place. And like I said, it's in a church and we're in the basement. I hear them go up and down the stairs or like calling my name and I'm just sitting there like, like, I'm literally around the fucking corner, but okay. And they went on for like, I'm not even joking, like 15, 20 minutes looking for me. And so at this point, I kind of wanted to be found. Like I kind of was done with this whole thing. And so like, I <laughs> moved my wheelchair back a little bit. So like my, the back of my wheel is showing um, so that if they're like walking down the hall, they'd fucking see it. And so they do see it and they probably thought like, oh yeah, like you fucking found her finally. When realistically like, no, like I wanted to be found. Like I did that on purpose. They come to me and the first thing that they say to me, I shit you not is, <laughs> Sarah, we have been looking everywhere for you. We've been looking upstairs. We had people looking everywhere for you, outside, everywhere. I just want you to know. <laughs> Uh, side note, this building doesn't have an elevator, okay? So for me to get down into like the basement where the daycare is, someone has to lift my wheelchair and like carry it down the stairs and then like I just hold onto the railing and walk down the stairs. And so <laughs> me in my fucking 12 year old smart ass voice was like, um, you looked upstairs? I'm in a wheelchair, how do you think I got up there? <laughs> and the look on their face was just like, get back in the room. <laughs> Like, oh my god, I'm so fucking savage. <laughs> to this day, I wondered like why they were looking upstairs. Like, even if I did go upstairs, like you would have seen my wheelchair parked like at the bottom of the stairs. And it clearly wasn't, because I was still sitting in it. <laughs> and like they know that I can't lift my chair up the stairs. Sorry if you hear any background noise, by the way. Um, I've got a lot of fucking cats. So as we're going back to the room, I'm actually like fucking fuming. I'm so mad. And the entire time I'm asking them like over and over again, can I please call my mom? Like I'm not feeling well. I need to call my mom. And they just kept on saying no. And I was just thinking that I am bleeding all over this fucking wheelchair. And if I get up that it's just going to be game over. It's going to look like a fucking murder happened. So I staged this little sit in. I like park myself kind of in the middle of the room. And I just like parked myself there. And I'm sitting there with like a bitch face. And then all of a sudden, one of the teachers comes up to me, takes me into the hall, kneels down in front of me and says, are you on your period or something? You're acting really weird. Are you on your period? Now, even for a 12 year old little girl, everyone should fucking know. If you ask someone who is already really pissed off if they're on their period, that is not gonna make things any better. I fucking lost my mind. Literally fucking psycho. Like obviously something is up, Sarah. And so she was like, okay, okay. <laughs> I like storm back into the room and I sit down and I like am bawling my eyes out at this point because I'm so like I'm so fucking embarrassed too like I just like humiliated myself in front of 
everyone in the fucking room because I'm literally being the saltiest bitch ever. I'm pretty sure that I sit there the entire time until my mom comes and picks me up. I don't really remember exactly what happened, but lo and behold, I didn't bleed all over the place because, you know, that doesn't fucking happen. Yeah, so uh, that was the end of it. <laughs> um, and that night my mom took me to a diner and we had dinner celebrating my period. Every month after that, for like a couple months, we went out for dinner. Every time I was on my period and that stopped pretty quickly. Hello mom, we can still go out for dinner. So that's it for today guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if it was kind of like an awkward video, but looking at my analytics, most of you are guys, so you probably can't relate. But nonetheless, I hope that it was an entertaining video. <laughs> so question of the day for the girls, do you guys have any really embarrassing period stories? I would love to hear it. I'm, I'm sure you do, I'm sure we all do actually. It comes with being a girl. And for the guys and girls too, <laughs> What's one of your most embarrassing stories? I will be reading all your comments and your comments will be featured in next week's video. As always everyone, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love to see your faces next time. Bye! I'm feeling fine. And they're like, oh, after prom was a pretty crazy night now, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I was really drunk. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you puked on the bus.